Last week, an independent stock market trader by name Alessio Rastani appeared on a UK news channel to discuss the state of the financial markets. The following day, the video went viral, making him an internet sensation. Was he an honest but brutal money man or a devious hoaxer? The speculation was intense. Was it his bold statement, for instance, that Goldman Sachs rules the world? Or that as a trader himself, he confessed to go to bed every night dreaming of a recession? And was he surprised as we were by the overnight stardom that hit him? Well, let's find out now because he's here right now. Alessio Rastani is here. Well, welcome, welcome. Did it Thank take you. you by surprise, this fame? Absolutely. Uh, I'll be honest. I mean, I, for one moment, I didn't think it was going to be controversial. I thought it was news to everybody that, you know, uh, what I said was true. Mm. And I never thought, you know, nobody's going to pay attention to this interview anyway. So, uh, yeah, it was a huge surprise because my, my purpose was, you know, that this, when I said I'm dreaming of a recession, what I meant was dreaming, dreaming of a market going down and profiting from it. What I meant was this shouldn't be just for people like me and traders in the city. This should be for everybody. It, everybody should be able to learn, and I'm he happy to help people to learn how to do that. But when you said you were dreaming of a recession, you must... It would have been a nightmare if you'd been against it, wouldn't it? I mean, you must dreaming of a recession means you want a recession, doesn't it? What I really meant, uh, Sir David, was uh, I'm dreaming of a market, a downward market. Right. Okay. I did not mean, uh, the way it was misinterpreted, that I'm looking forward to people losing money and their pension and their jobs. It's not what I meant. I'm looking forward to a downward market, which just means something different, if I could explain. Yeah, it could. Yeah. But you uh, mean a down, not that... But, but, but more that. Yeah. No, no, actually, I, no? Did, I do mean a plunge. Right, right. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, well, uh, Markets go down. It happened also in the recession of 2008. Uh, why is a downward market a good thing? It's, it's a good thing for two reasons. Well, maybe three. Uh, there's a phrase in Wall Street, Sir David, that says markets will take the staircase up by the right the elevator down. It just means the markets will go faster on the way down. And the way I see it is, you know, the, the, you can make money in any direction, and not many people know that. You can make money when markets go up, you can make money when markets go down, okay? Uh, so if you know how to make money downwards, right. and because you can make money faster, it's very attractive. The other reason why that's attractive is because uh, an unstable economy in a recession creates trends. It, well, it creates volatility, and that creates a trending market, which means markets will move decisively in one direction. And again, that's very attractive to traders who want to trade. Uh, I think the, probably the most important reason why a recession is a good thing is because it, it makes the prices of a lot of assets cheaper for people to buy. So, but, but when you were saying something like the trader thing, for instance, right. um, the point is that what you're saying there is that traders can do well with Right. Things going down. I'm saying, but and, average, can mm -hmm. average people? Yes, they can. Do they have the ability to do so? Absolutely. The contacts, the phone numbers, or it, whatever. This is the thing. Uh, it's not rocket science. No. Making money downwards is not rocket science. And people think, oh, it's, it's difficult. It's hard. It can be risky if you don't know. What, I'm, not, I'm not saying people should gamble. Definitely not. But what I am saying is there are very simple strategies out there that that I use, that people who I teach. Uh, in fact, I've been doing it for five years now, mm -hmm. you know, there are simple strategies out there and I'm willing to help people and teach them. Uh, I'm doing it already on my blog as to how people can actually profit from a falling market. And get, get prepared is what you said. Baden-Powell, yeah. be prepared, this is get prepared. Yeah. How do people do that? How do they get prepared? Well, the first thing people have to do is give up this idea, this notion that the governments and the leaders out there are going to solve this crisis. As long, this is my point, this is what I'm trying to get out there. Yeah. The message was, look, we've been waiting and hearing this message that the governments are going to sort things out, that they had this rescue plan. As long as we keep uh, depending on our leaders and the banks, we don't really have a solution to this crisis. We're always going to be in this problem, right. and it's going to be risky. If you wait and you wait, it's going to be too risky. But if the traders are, are trading in order to come out when come out when the thing has gone down the market's gone down their very action of if they're going short on things or whatever would increase the down the downhill ride maybe absolutely so the point is though what i was really trying to get out there is if we're going to have a financial crisis and it certainly looks that way 
uh, if the markets are going to go down. This is not a time right now to sit and wait, see what happens, and hope things are going to get better. My ruling principle has always been prepare for the worst but hope for the best.